Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is apply a base coat. This will protect our nails. Okay, so I'm taking this Wet n Wild polish in the color Rogue and I'm applying this to my middle finger. I used two coats to make it opaque. I wanted to give my Deadpool nails a little bit of sparkle, so for my remaining four nails, I'm using China Glaze Ruby Slippers. I applied two coats just to make it really bold and bright and shiny. Because I'm using acrylic paint, I'm applying a matte top coat to my middle finger. This will help the acrylic paint to stick better to my nail. Now for my remaining three nails, I'm applying this Snap Dry by Orly's. This will help my glitter nails dry a little faster because I'm going to be sponging on some black polish on the tips. Okay, so now that my, um, oh my gosh, really? All the, the helicopter making all this noise, I can't even record a voiceover, like, oh my gosh. Okay, I have a question for all you nail gurus out there. Whenever you use a matte top coat, do you find that sometimes you get like little white spots after the polish has dried? I don't know if my matte top coat is old, but this is not the first time that this has happened. So if you know why this happens, could you please leave a comment down below and let me know so I can figure out what I need to do? Because I don't think I really like these, um white spots on my nail okay so as you can see I am taking this um, nail art brush that I got from eBay and I'm using my black acrylic paint to create the um, black eye mask on Deadpool's mask I guess <laughs> I don't even know what it's called So right here what I'm doing, I'm trying to perfect the lines and make sure that they are even because I don't want it to look lopsided. And when you're working with a really small canvas, sometimes it's a little um, complicated to get these lines perfect. And I'm not really good with the um, nail art brushes. And uh, yeah, so basically, as you can see what I'm doing here, I'm just trying to outline the lines and make sure everything is even and nice. And um, I'll stop talking so you can finish watching the rest. Okay, so right now what I'm doing, I'm taking a makeup sponge that I have and I just ripped off a little piece and I'm going to dip it in my black polish and I'm going to um, dab it on the tips of my nails because I wanted it to be like a kind of like a, like a gradient effect because I know Deadpool is red and black and I just wanted to try something different.
Okay, so right now I am using my white acrylic paint and my nail art brush, and I am going to create his eyes. Now, this is the second time that I've filmed this. The first time, I don't know what happened to the footage, and then I messed up the white part in the eye, so I had to do it again. So this time, I'm just trying to make sure that it is even compared to the first time. And yeah, so I'm going to stop talking so you can watch me try and create his eyes. Okay, so once everything is completely dry, I'm going in with my Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. And I apply this to all of my nails to give them a nice glossy shine. Okay, so here's the final result. I thought they looked a little bit too like Spider-Man, so I decided to write the name Deadpool on my nails. I really hope you guys like it. 